In life, there's a hierarchy. Big things eat little things, powerful stuff rises to the top. I swat black flies out of my face. That same dynamic holds true with Audis. They have the A5 Coupe, it's more powerful S5 sibling, and now at the top in the alpha position, we have the RS5. So, what exactly qualifies the RS5 for the alpha position? Well, there's the 4.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 with its 450 horsepower output routed through a seven speed dual clutch transmission and sent to the ground via a quattro all wheel drive system featuring a limited slip torque vectoring rear differential, the RS5 has abundant performance potential. The V8's torque rating of 317 pound feet may seem a little underwhelming, but the engine makes up for that number with overabundant revs. A couple of the side benefits of an 8500 RPM redline include the car basically taunting you to drive it hard and a wicked banshee whale when you really get on it. Along with thrilling top end rush, the RS5 expels inspirational engine noise. Use the vehicle's launch control system and you'll be treated to a glorious V8 growl as well as 0 to 60 acceleration in about 4.5 seconds. And now, just in case you care, the Audi RS5's EPA estimated fuel economy figures. And enough of that. Putting big power in the hands of marginally talented journalists on a racetrack isn't always a good idea, but like Neil deGrasse Tyson explaining astrophysics, the RS5 coupe makes stellar performance remarkably accessible. Key to that accessibility is the Quattro all-wheel drive system, which dynamically deviates from a standard 40-60 front-rear split as traction demands, sending as much as 85% of the engine's power to the rear wheels. Adding to the RS5's all-wheel drive excellence is a torque vectoring differential that improves agility by overdriving the outside rear wheel. From the driver's seat, that constant redirection of torque manifests itself as utterly predictable, drama-free acceleration out of the corners. Add to that abundant lateral grip and slightly numb but precise steering, and you have a compelling dynamic package that welcomes drivers rather than intimidating them. Which is a nice trait on unfamiliar back roads or the high-speed bends and blind crests that define Sears Point. Further reassuring the driver are powerful front brakes consisting of 14.4-inch discs squeezed by 8-piston Brembo calipers. Note the discs' neat-looking, weight-reducing wave design, a feature previously only seen on motorcycles. And for buyers who think excellent isn't quite good enough, carbon ceramic front brakes are also available as an option. The lack of a manual transmission in the RS5 might be off-putting to some, but there's no denying the excellence of the 7-speed dual clutch. It shifts quickly, it offers better throttle response than a traditional automatic, and it frees your left clutch leg up to operate the brakes. Ugh. Really, if you want to lament missing componentry, focus on the lack of an old-school e-brake as the electronic e-brake with its little activation lever really isn't made for dusty backroad shenanigans. On the other hand, the absence of a brake handle allows for a super clean interior design. Building on the basic A5 S5 cabin, the RS5 features carbon fiber trim, a flat bottom steering wheel, heavily bolstered sport seats, and redesigned door handles that create an impression of lightness, if not actual lightness. As for the exterior, the RS5 shares only a hood, roof, and doors with its A5 S5 siblings. Elsewhere, fenders have been flared, air inlets enlarged, a retractable spoiler added, and the ride height lowered by 0.8 inches versus the A5. Along with striking LED running lights and a huge honeycomb grill, its numerous exterior enhancements give the RS a visual presence that supersedes the already gorgeous A5 and S5. Despite its track-ready appearance, most RS5s will spend their lives on the streets. For domestic duty, the ride is firm, but not harsh. Without fancy magnetic dampers, a single suspension setting has to work in all environments. Thankfully, it's a reasonable compromise that works well both here and here. For a hair under $70,000, you can claim an Audi RS5 of your very own. But before you do, we should mention that the Mercedes-Benz C63 and BMW M3 each cost about $10,000 less, and both are highly capable performers in their own right. Car fans can certainly debate its cost-performance ratio, but for the elite actually considering an RS5, the $10,000 premium it commands may not be a huge deal. After all, the heart wants what the heart wants. Qualities like excellent design, exhilarating yet unintimidating performance, 
and an iconoclastic spirit top the hierarchy of your heart, the Audi RS5 is probably worth the money.